Hello. Welcome back. I am here again after a long break. And we are going to make some Cajun shrimp one pot. Yeah, it's a trend. One pots are dope. I like them. Easy, quick, and delicious. Uh, sorry for the long break. Been away for a little while. I meant to make one the other day, but I got sidetracked. So now we are back. And we're going to get right into it. First, we're going to make our Cajun uh, seasoning. I got everything out and ready right over here. Hopefully, everybody's been doing well. I know I have. Tired, but good. Like I said, first thing we're going to do, put together this uh, delicious Cajun seasoning, and then we're going to put it all in one pot, hence the name. And the cat has smelled the shrimp, because the cat is on the attack. Get out! Bunch of raw shrimp jumbos, because I love my shrimp. Oh, get out of here. My phone volume's down. Alright. So, we got four tablespoons of butter. One for the pan and one to melt. That's going to help me coat the shrimp in the dry rub. Or the seasoning. We'll melt that later. All right, let's see here. What do we got first? We got our paprika. It's over here somewhere. Going with a teaspoon and a half. for a treat. We're in for a treat when I uh, get to a stopping point. I've got some delicious whiskeys that I have not tried yet, so I'm going to leave it up to whoever's chilling in the chat to decide what we're going to try. A teaspoon of salt. Kitty is well. She is sitting in the kitchen, oddly quiet. It's worrisome. She got into the shrimp for a second there, but I caught her and ended that ASAP. Alright, we've added our salt, our paprika. What's next? Next on the list, garlic powder. Can't go wrong with garlic powder. And we're going with a teaspoon of garlic powder. That doesn't fit. Fair enough. And I don't know if he'll show up currently at work, but this uh, this dish is kind of being thrown out there for my man Chad back in Conneaut, working at the fire station right now. He wanted some some bang bang shrimp tacos, but I didn't really feel like frying today, so we went a slightly different route. Cracked black pepper, half a teaspoon. And don't worry, I'll go over the recipe multiple times, so if you do like what you see and want to cook it, you don't have to go through the trouble of looking it up, because I've already done that for you. Oh, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Ooh. Half, half skip, not a whole, half a teaspoon, right? Yeah, half a teaspoon. Hey, Morgan, how's it going? Welcome. 
Oh. I'll wave in a second after I get done murdering this bowl of cayenne pepper. That's probably about. Hopefully you're doing well. Alright, we got our cayenne pepper in there. Now we have onion powder, Italian uh, herb state province, and some crushed red pepper. One fourth teaspoon of that. Wham. Wham, bam, blam. Uh, half a teaspoon. I didn't need to fit in there. So, what's everybody up to? Hi, Candy. How are you doing? Hopefully, well. Been a minute, but I'm back. I just uh, changed jobs a little while ago, and the 12 hour shifts are hurting me. And onion powder. Half a teaspoon. Alright, so in case you didn't hear me mumbling that underneath my breath, this, uh, ooh, sorry, this delicious concoction. Is composed up of half a teaspoon of paprika, one one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of cracked black pepper, half a teaspoon of cayenne, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of Italian herbs of province, and one fourth a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. And once we get that in the bowl, we will whisk it up. If I have a whisk. I think we'll just go with a fork to whisk it up for now. So we're going to use about half this mixture in the pan immediately with the rice and butter and half of this mixture will be going to coat the shrimp. And my little video I was going to do the other day, it was going to be a uh, Italian smoked sausage bacon carbonara. Uh, it tasted pretty good, but didn't turn out quite like I was hoping. You know, the restaurant, restaurant style carbonara is a lot more creamier. And, and this was more like uh, Italian sausage bacon and butter noodles. But you know what, you win some, you lose some. I'll see what I can do to make it better next time. Maybe I'll do it on an actual video. Alright, our end result. <coughs> Woo! Got a little bit in there. Hey, Vic, how's it going? <laughs> Ooby. That's right, she's here. So here's our little concoction. That's our uh, bread and butter for this dish. <clears throat> getting in my nose there she is alright so we've whisked that all together we're gonna melt two tablespoons of butter in our skillet over here and once that's melted we're going to ooh, try not to sneeze mix in garlic and half of the seasoning with um, with the rice stir it up once that's stirred up we'll be pouring in some chicken broth Two, uh, two and two-thirds cup of chicken broth. Get my handy-dandy measuring cup out. Set to the side. Mmm. Gotta prep everything before I start. I don't know what it is with me, but I just don't like doing stuff uh, willy-nilly, running all over the place like a chicken with my head cut off. Whoa. Splashing all over the place. Alright, 
Let's start melting this butter. We'll go ahead and melt this butter up here as well. Should take a... Uh, Sorry for the noise, incoming microwave. There she goes, good old Yubi, meowing away. Alright, so that butter's melted. Now we're waiting for this butter to melt. We'll add our garlic. I don't have how much to put in there because I just throw however much garlic I feel like. And now we wait. It's gonna be delicious, I have a feeling. Shrimp, shrimp is always great. Buttery, cayenne, mm mm. Hopefully the rice turns out good. So what are you all eating tonight, or have ate? Because I know I got some some East Coasters in the in the video. What was for Din Din? Hey, get off the counter! My goodness, crazy cat! Can't keep anything clean. Oh yeah, you know what? I also need my uh, one and one third cup of rice ready to go. Gotham meows back. Minnie's wondering why the phone is meowing. <laughs> yeah, that's a kitty. Talking to her own kind and confusing the opposite. That poor pup probably wondering what's going on. Hey, Gabby, how's it going? Is it going panicking? Of course, that little scaredy cat. Almost got the butter melted. Once we melt this butter, we'll go ahead and add in some more delicious. So, yep, we got to uh, melt two tablespoons of butter in a large skillet, stir in garlic and half the seasoning, and rice. So, the butter is almost melted. I'm a little impatient, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and uh, knock it out now. So, we got our garlic, trusty pre-minced. Every time I use it I feel like I'm closer to death. So there's our garlic. We'll add a little bit more. I like I like my garlic. As you all know. Alright, so garlic is done. Then we'll add in half the herbs. Herbs, herbs. Pop that down right on top. I'd say that's about half, roughly. Stirring garlic, half the Cajun seasoning, and rice. So, rice. Rice. Go ahead and give that a nice stir. Get it all worked in. This is our Cajun rice here, and then we'll start working on our Cajun shrimp. Ooh. So now once this gets mixed in, oh I'm sorry, we got to add in our uh, our chicken broth as well. I'm just giving this a nice mix up. Looks good already. Very excited. Make sure there's no big lumps of uh, seasoning. That'll ruin your bite. Uh, yep, yeah, stirred that in. Now we stir in chicken broth. Bring to a boil, reduce to simmer, cover for 15 minutes. So we need two and two-thirds cup chicken broth. So here's our two. 
And now we'll go with a two-thirds hot tea. I'm sick. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. I hope you feel better. Did I say two-thirds? Two and two-thirds, yes. Got to get some Theraflu and sit in a nice, hot, steamy shower. That always does the trick for me. All right. So we're done with the chicken broth. Now we're going to bring that sucker to a boil. I'm going to give it a little, another stir, though. Make sure we're nice and stirred up. All right, and this is what we've got so far. Hopefully I can get you guys on in the shot. Oh, that's the wrong way, Skip. Mm -mm. All right, so that's what we got so far. Looking good, smelling good. Oh, wrong way. I'm over here. All right. There we go. So now, like I said, we will get to work on the shrimp. Got to measure out. It's about a pound. I got jumbo shrimp because the store didn't have anything else. So. We'll do a pound of jumbo shrimp. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, oh, mm. Spillage. We got a man down. My cat's going to take advantage of that. Hold on one second. I'm spilling everywhere. All right. Like I said, one pound of shrimp. I'm just gonna hand it. My hands have been washed, so it's all good. Yeah, so next time I cook, I might be doing a bang bang shrimp bang bang tacos for Chad over there at Fire Station 1. He'll be hopping in and watching this probably. Almost, almost there. Almost there. One pound of shrimp. Losing it all. Good thing I did that over the sink. I would have lost all my shrimp all over the floor. All right, we're back. Who's in here? Chris Gerdo. What's up, my guy? We're doing a uh, uh, buttery Cajun shrimp one pot today. How you doing, huh? How you doing? There's our shrimp. Gotta wipe, wipe up the floor real quick. I spilled me some shrimp on the floor. Don't need to bring this to a boil. Let's bump up the heat a little bit. Give it a little stir. Make sure it's not sticking to the bottom. I have a problem with that with these pans. I don't know why. Stuff tends to stick to the bottom a little bit. Bums me out. Ooh, hit me right in the face. All right. So next, 
So we've stirred in our chicken broth. We're trying to bring it to a boil. Once we do, we'll reduce it to a simmer and cover for 15 minutes. While we're waiting for that, we will uh, prep our shrimp. So we need to stir the remaining butter, which is up here, and the remaining Cajun. Let me uh, spin this away. There we go. So there's our butter. Yes. And the remaining Cajun seasoning. Yes. I'm going to have some dishes to wash. All right. So now we'll just go ahead and, uh, what is it? Uh, yep, stir the remaining butter, Cajun seasoning, pour over shrimp, and toss. So I messed that up a little bit, but that's all right. So we'll just stir the rest of that in with a spoon. Apparently, you're supposed to <laughs> mix the Cajun seasoning with the butter and then pour that over top of the shrimp. But we'll make do. I might have a nice, nice hot shrimp with this uh, mixture going here. It looks like we're mixing it up pretty well though. So, a little reminder, just make sure you read your instructions carefully. Don't make the same mistake I did. Of course, and again, if uh, you guys are recurring watchers, you know I always make a mistake in every recipe I do. Alright, so, that looks pretty mixed to me. So this is what we're looking at right here. Hopefully you guys can see that pretty well. So it looks pretty mixed to me. No big clumps of seasoning. And this is going to be delicious. Which way? There we go. Mmm, here I am. Looking good. Damn right it's looking good. So this is almost boiling. Give it a little bit more, just so that we're we're making sure everything's good to go. Hey, give me them hearts, 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 hearts all day, baby. We're just gonna throw all of these and wash them. I'm not sure I used every single one of them, but oh well. All right, you know what? we're gonna we're gonna give this another mix real quick. I think we're just about to a boil. And once that boils, we uh, we wait 15 minutes. You get 15 minutes with me, but this is when we get to decide the liquor of choice. So hopefully we get some more people in here. They can enjoy me drinking some whiskey and listening to the cat meow. I'll show you where she is. I watch her ever vigilantly, because if she... I don't know if I'm going to get her. There she is. That's the cat. We'll give her the camera for a little bit. It's kitty cam. Right, kitty? That's right. Kitty cam. How's it going? You guys having fun with Kitty? Kitty, you're famous. <laughs> Alright, bring it back down. This is the food channel, not the Kitty channel. There we go. So we got a good simmer going on. I think I'm just going to cover it. So, in case there's anyone out there who doesn't know what a simmer is. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. We're getting there. I'm sure you all know what a simmer is, though. But Not quite a boil, but you know what? I'm happy with that, so we're going to go ahead and cover it. Turn the heat down a little bit. This way it stays on a simmer. And then you will... Oh, camera's going everywhere. Then you will uh, stir it one to two times throughout the cook. 
So we've got 15 minutes on the clock. 6.38, all right. So now, I'm not in the camera. It might help if I'm in the camera. Yeah, kitty, I know. You're so active. All right, so we got a couple people here. Um, since we're going to be waiting on this to simmer down before we throw our shrimp in. By the way, real quick, we'll come back to it once we uh, get to there. But uh, we're going to we're going to simmer this for 15 minutes. We're basically, going to cook the rice almost cooked, and then after that, we're going to stir the shrimp into the rice, cover and cook for an additional three to five minutes to cook the shrimp. And that'll be the dish. So now, now that we have a time, a little bit of a break here, something I like to do. You know, college was a lot of fun drinking uh, whatever we could get our hands on. DJ Natto, shout out to him there. Um, but now I'm getting a little older, so I wanna, I wanna try and try different tastes, something a little bit better. You know what I mean? So I actually got this really interesting subscription. The, Thing called Flavier, and with my subscription, I get a free fifth or free bottle and a sampler pack of anything I choose each quarter. So this quarter, I got this. Looks pretty good for those of you who could not read that. It's a Westward American Single Malt Whiskey. I, I'm wanting to get into the whiskeys, and then up here, this is my my sampler pack, right? So this sampler pack, oh, I gotta get her down. She's losing her mind. Hold on. Oh, sorry, kitty. No more kitty time for you. All right. So this is my sampler pack of get this Japanese whiskey. It is very good. So you open it up, and this is what you got right here. Right? Looks pretty good. So. Japanese whiskey. I've had it before now, but the first time I heard about it, I was kind of shocked. I was like, Japanese whiskey? That sounds amazing. Let's try that out. I'm going to give this a quick stir. So this is one stir. That lid is hot. Alright, so... What do you guys want to see? Do you want to see the, uh, the samplers of Japanese whiskey? Or we're going to go with the American single malt whiskey. Let me know what you guys think. There's only two of you, but what do you guys want to see? We're going to do a, a review on it. See how good it is. Because I've had uh, another sampler pack up there. It had a, a Japanese whiskey, a Wales whiskey, and an Israel whiskey. And I don't think I will ever get Israel or whiskey. Israel or Wales whiskey again. I don't think so. I might try it. Maybe if I'm over there in their area one time, but I don't know if I'm going to trust myself to pick out, you know, a whiskey like that just willy-nilly. I'd want to actually be in their country to get their actual taste. That's what I would want to do. Whiskey. They're all whiskeys, goofball. Which one? Jap we got three... Three samplers of Japanese whiskey, in case I wasn't clear. That's these guys, three of them. I'll try all three and tell you my favorite, A, B, and C. And then we've got our American single malt whiskey. So which one? Are we going to go with American or Japanese? Hey, how's it going? Welcome. Okay, so we got one one for the, the ooh, one for Japanese and one for American whiskey. All right, so we're at a tie. Uh, by the way, if you're just popping in here now, we're making a, uh, a delicious Cajun buttery shrimp one pot meal. We popped in here at the perfect time. We're cooking up the rice, simmering it for uh, 15 minutes in delicious juices, and then we've got our shrimp we're going to throw in. All, Jesus Christ. I don't know about all. That's crazy. We got one more. We got a third person in here. Let's see. What's a tiebreaker? Japanese whiskey or American whiskey? Let's go. Be clutch. Hmm. Hey, Sergeant Klaus, what, what did you uh, eat for dinner, huh? You having a good time tonight? Ooh. Get out of here. 
Are you crazy? I don't drink that much anymore. You make me drop dead. Sorry about that loud noise. Well, we're down to two. You know what? We'll give it a couple more minutes. We still got uh, uh, about mm, nine more minutes until we add in the, uh, the shrimp. So I'll give it a little bit more time. Try tipping corn on the cob. Nice. Try tip. Delicious. Never knew what that was when I first got here because apparently in the East Coast we call it something different. Can't remember right now. Try tip is delicious though. I almost went with uh, another Cajun recipe that actually had chunks of corn on the cob in it. It was interesting. But I ultimately went with the, the scampi-esque version. Scampi-esque. So here's... Here's our shrimp concoction right now. Right. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to go ahead and get my shot glass ready. We're going to go ahead and use my Green Lantern shot glass. Shout out to Zach Simic. He got me that. Look at this little fur ball just getting in all the stuff. Go down. Go over there. All right, let's go ahead and stir this again. Don't want to stick them to the bottom of my pot, like I said. For some odd reason, this pan likes to stick. It's only on like two and a half heat, too, so I don't know why it does that. Ooh, boy. That smells delightful. Delightful. Alright, anyone. So, again, if anyone new has popped in here, it's still Ashley and Sergeant Klaus. Um, we're going to do a, a whiskey tasting. we got Japanese and American. Right now we're tied. One for, one for each. Be the tiebreaker. What should I taste? Japanese or American whiskey? we got three... Sampler packs of the Japanese whiskey and a American single malt whiskey here. Hmm. Mm. 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 Might have to. I might have to throw the shrimp in there sooner. It says 15 minutes, but you know what? We're getting awfully low on fluid in there, and I don't want it to burn. I still need to cook the shrimp. You know what? We're gonna throw the shrimp in now. We're gonna we're gonna bump it up. Actually, let me see if the rice is even cooked. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Rice is cooked. Shrimp goes in. All right. Let me double check. Yes. Woo. Mm -mm -mm. Get all of that stuff in there. Boy, it's going to be messy cleaning this up. Alright, let's mix in the rice and the shrimp. And basically, you're cooking this until it's pink and opaque. Opaque. A poop. Slightly clear. We got four people in here now. Maybe we can finally get that tiebreaker. I am going to be trying a whiskey. Part of a whiskey club. Part of a, actually just a fine liquor club. So we've got a Japanese whiskey and an American whiskey. So we're at a tiebreaker right now. One for each. Pick for me. Be that tiebreaker. What are we doing? American whiskey or Japanese whiskey? Let me tell you what. I've had some Japanese whiskey before. Very good. That's hot. That's that's hot. Don't burn yourself. Nolan says American. Nolan doesn't count. He doesn't even know what whiskey is. Three to five minutes longer. All right. You know what? I'm gonna do the tiebreaker. We're going Japanese. All right. So we're going with A first. As you can see. It is sealed, so no, it is not just apple juice. Get out of here. Whoo! There, 
it is. I'm only going to do slightly over half a shot because I'd like some for later. And I'm trying three different kinds. So, there it is. Mmm. I can't quite peg it down. It almost smells a little bit citrusy. Whew. <laughs> Very good. Nice bite to it, though. Woo. So, I actually think I have cards for these, too. Hold on. Let me see if I can get the cards. Ashley chose American whiskey. You know, it's like she doesn't even know me. Oh, that's got a good burn. I like that one a lot. Alright, so that was A. Got ourselves a nifty little card that tells us all about it, right? Let me go ahead and pop this off and stir it real quick. Mmm, that's good. Aftertaste is great. Uh-oh, got a mad face. What's going on? You tried the last Japanese whiskey and you got me. And we enjoyed it. Yeah, well, I'm saving. I'll save some. Don't worry. All right, so, A, like I was saying, we just tried A. So now we're going to take a look at it. So, let's, whoop, hello. It's a single malt whiskey, Japanese whiskey. It's called Akashi. If you can read that. There it is. And it's looking like we got a bit of a sherry. So, okay, that makes a lot of sense. It did taste a little bit like sherry. Hey, Sergeant Fancy, how's it going, man? We're just trying some Japanese whiskeys. You popped in just a little too late for that clinch vote, so I decided. We just tried our first one. It's a uh, single malt Japanese whiskey. And like I was saying, it's got a hints of sherry, caramel, uh, apple, fruits. So that makes sense with the citrusy. Uh, vanilla apricot. That one was pretty good. I liked it. A. Done. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, let's go after. Let's go after B. So, B. One we're doing next. This one is uh, Kujira Ryukyu. Hmm. I don't know much about that, but in case anyone out there does, here it is. B. It is yet again sealed, so no, it is not apple juice. Get out of here with that garbage. <clears throat> Ooh, what in the world? Don't do this to me on stream. <laughs> what is going on? I need to hit the gym. Don't say it, Fancelaw. I know you're thinking it. Man, we might be skipping B. Oh, there it is. Popped her open. That was odd. Hmm. Odd. All right. All right. About. It's about half. All right, again, B, delicious. Mmm. Get out of here. Mmm. That wasn't shut. Ah, much more low-key, a little, little more subtle on the scent. I'm not getting the citrusy stuff, so probably isn't citrus or fruity. Alright, down the hatch. Mm. 
much more mellow. Definitely more, more mellow. All right, so, ha! Disney Princess. So, in case I move that too fast, Jasmine. So, it's got uh, hints of toffee, vanilla, pear, caramel. Does have fruits, so some citrus. So it, it wasn't much though. It was very low, low key on the citrus stuff there. So that was pretty good. Let's go ahead and check this again. We're looking for pink and opaque, opaque shrimp. Oh my goodness, that smells delectable, delectable, delightful. So we'll give it a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. I want my shrimp to be a little bit more cooked. And that'll give us time. That'll give us time for one more tasting for the Japanese whiskey. I wouldn't mind trying Japanese vodka. Alright, so next up is C. The last one. Ichiro's malt. It's a malt and grain blended Japanese whiskey. Again, I'm not looking at the backs of the cards. I'm looking at this portion, so I have not seen that side yet. I won't show it. Again, see, it is sealed. It looks delicious. That one was much easier to get off. All right, here we go. And you know you don't drink a lot anymore when uh, three shot or not even three full shots of whiskey is getting you. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know. I can't pick that one at all. Again, it doesn't smell citrusy. Which is good. I don't like a, a, a hard citrusy. And I, don't, I don't think I... I liked the uh, the second one a lot more than the first one. So I think the sherry... Well, the sherry taste wasn't very good for me. But both of them still taste really good. Whiskey-wise, so far, I'd definitely give this sampler pack a... Solid 7. The bar set high after I had a, a $35 one shot, $35 shot of um, Irish whiskey. When I couldn't even pronounce its name. Hey, Marcy, welcome, welcome. You just showed up for the last and final shot of Japanese whiskey, doing a little tasting. And the food's almost done. We're just waiting for the shrimp to, uh, to finish cooking up, so you'll be able to see the final product. Last shot, down the hatch. Yep. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Hold on. Before I look at the card, what is that? That's a familiar taste. I don't know what it is, though. That's a bummer. Alright, let's find out. So, it's got lemon zest, mm, caramel, cooked fruit, apricot, and uh, vanilla. It's the vanilla. It's definitely the vanilla. That's the thing I'm tasting right there. So, I know it's hard to read, but, you know, show you guys what I'm seeing. So those are the three whiskeys, the three Japanese whiskeys that I had to taste test. So maybe next time, we will do the American whiskey. So for those of you who weren't here or didn't see it. It's an American single malt whiskey. We'll go ahead and try that one next time. And then uh, I'll make this a, a normal thing as long as I have the subscription. We'll, you know, whenever I get the, uh, the next quarter of the year, we'll go ahead and order something new. And we'll just keep going until we try different things. But overall, that, 
That Japanese trio was very good. I give it a, a good, solid seven. Six and a half, seven out of ten. Um, the middle one, B, was my favorite. It was very mellow. The last one, my least favorite. Too much, too much bite. And uh, A, the sherry did it for me. But I would definitely drink any of those any day. So, all right. Put this guy away. And if there's more you guys want to hear about the whiskeys, let me know. Or whatever I may do, because it's not just a whiskey. Yo, what up, my guy? Welcome. You just you just popped in. I don't know if you saw it. We just did a, some whiskey tasting. Got that ja Japanese whiskey down. Pretty damn good. Six and a half, seven out of ten. Loved it. How you doing, man? I see you over there. I see you over there. You're, you're in my living room right now. All right, so we're just about done. Let's give this one more stir. Make sure all the shrimp's cooked. Ooh, all right, let's see. Let's bring it on over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there it is. That looks pretty darn delicious, if I do say so myself. Yep. I like it. See that okay? Here, I'll, I'll grab one. Pull it out. Let me get the camera back the right way. Ooh, ooh. What up? Alright, so. It's going to be hot, so. Oh, no. Save it. Alright, so. That's what you're looking for on your shrimp, if you can see it. Let me pull this out get it out of the shadows. So that's what you're looking for. Nice and pink and opaque. Opaque? I already say that damn word. It's not the whiskey, I swear. So, go ahead and kill that. And we'll set up a plate see how this sucker tastes. I'm excited. Carter, what up, man? You can't cook. Like the great Steve Sanford. I can't? I can't. Are you kidding me? I cook better than him. Mmm. Make sure I'm reading it right. Mmm. Man, my man, McCall, tell him what it is. If he, if he gets it. I don't know. I'm still fairly new to that shift, so. Alright. Bowl time. Let's do it. That's my cat going nuts. Man, Chad, did you see the uh, the whiskey tasting? I'm gonna need this rice. That uh, that whiskey's hit me in the head right now. I apparently need to drink more. I don't know why I have this fork sitting out still. Get back, get back. Oh man, it was pretty good, man. It was three different Japanese whiskeys. Liked it a lot. So if you go back, if you if you're bored and you go back and watch this later, you can see it. They're pretty good. I like I like Japanese whiskey. It's surprisingly good. If you ever get the chance to try it, highly recommend it. Next stream we'll be uh, we'll be tasting a uh, a American single malt whiskey. So every quarter I get new whiskeys or vodkas or anything I like. Rum. I think the next one I might do, unless I see another Japanese one that looks interesting, I think I'll do rum. I like rum. Rum's pretty tasty. So, alright, we have the final product here in our bowl. Let's go ahead and bring this over. I'm still, I'm still shook. You said I don't cook like the great Steve Sanford. Alright, you know, that's fair. I learned it from him. So, here is the dish. Mm-mm-mm. Careful. 
the shows are still on. Who did? Who did? Oh, Steve Sanford's in the chat. Y'all missed the whiskey tasting, all right? So that's that's the meal right there. Like I said, the shell's still on, so we'll uh, we'll go ahead and taste this with you guys. So let's go ahead and peel this shell off. That's that's hot. That's hot. Woo! All right. Mmm, buttery. It's like scampy. All right. Let's see how this tastes. I'm hungry too. Starving. Mmm. Mmm. I did take the shell off full. That was delicious. It it popped. It popped in my mouth when I bit it. That. Yeah. That was a delicious, delicious shrimp. <laughs> On your way. I don't think no one will like this. This, this, it's got some good kick to it. Mmm. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So that that is delicious. This is a winner. I would definitely highly recommend this. Uh, ten out of ten. But I'm not hard to please when it comes to food. Hold on. My uh, my freezer fans breaking. So, uh, yeah, that's it for the buttery Cajun shrimp skillet one pot. I hope you guys enjoyed, and hopefully, he loves spice. Oh, jeez. That kid, you're going to go bankrupt from spicy foods. Get those, um, what, uh, what are those, what are those you like? It's the jalapeno... Um, you know what I'm talking about. Inspired by Chad Carter. That's right. And you know, you know what? If he would have been in here, he would have heard me say that next time I cook, I am gonna try and do those those bang bang shrimp tacos. So I'll figure out how to how to uh, deep fry at home without buying a deep fryer. Cause no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put money into a deep fryer. I'll never use it. But I'll figure out a way. And we'll do some we'll do some shrimp bang bang tacos, or next time I'm home, if you guys are there, maybe I'll do some do some bang bang tacos there if I ever get home. All right, well that's all for me. You guys have a wonderful night. Get some delicious food, and hopefully it won't be several weeks before I see y'all again. All right, leave a comment down in the bottom. Leave a like if you want. Let me know what you uh, what you want to see cooked in the future. And let me know if you think I can do anything better. Thanks. Bye.